Hello and uh, welcome all of you students once again. So today we are starting with the unit four, and uh, name of our unit four is the operating system and uh, related concepts. Now related with the unit four, already uh, most of the content already we have discussed when uh, we have physically conducted the practicals related with the group C. So only some uh, two three points are there. Which is uh, need to be discussed in case of the unit four. Otherwise, all the points in the physically we have covered. So uh, out of that, today we'll discuss about the what is exactly the operating system, the introductory point related to the operating system, history, uh, some basic history of the operating system, some of the examples of the operating system, and uh, what is the scenario of uh, uh, today's operating system all over the world. and what are the some common functionality and services of the operating system okay <coughs> so as already you know the if you see this figure so from this figure you can easily understand what exactly is the operating system so most important thing related with the operating system is nothing but what it is the one of the system program that from the first lecture of system programming i am telling you so operating system is the one of the system program now what is the system program system program are nothing but the program which help the system to work what do you mean by the system system is nothing but your all the system is nothing but your uh, your computer system which is being formed with the help of the different components like uh, there is a processor or the cpu motherboard main memory secondary memory input output devices so these are all the hardware uh, components uh, become your system and uh, you know to help your system to run because this hardware components uh, if if there is a no uh, system program is there like operating system then these hardware components cannot communicate with each other okay and then we cannot get the certain kind of output your computer system cannot work you cannot get the display so this kind of things are there so if you want your all the hardware components of your system to be communicate with each other there need a particular system program and name of that system program is nothing but your operating system okay so if the user want to interact you user cannot directly interact with your hardware okay user cannot give directly instruction to the cpu and ask cpu to execute something or user cannot directly instruct the ram or the main memory to store something or user cannot lead direct request to the input output devices to perform some kind of input output operation understood so user has to do all these kind of activities with the help of some middle software and that is a middle software is nothing but your operating system understood even if user want to execute some application program on computer system suppose you want to play the uh, music and you want to install the vlc player as a application software for that purpose also you need a one particular intermediate software between the user and the hardware components and that is nothing but your operating system okay and uh, by these uh, you can describe the operating system as like this i have mentioned here an operating system act as a communication bridge between the user and the computer hardware understood as now i am utilizing some operating system windows 10 and i am uh, you can see i am able to uh, display the things the main reason band that is nothing but the windows operating system understood so i can able to uh, show you the different kind of things on the machine for that purpose there is a requirement of memory there is a requirement of processor understood so how how i can get access to this hardware components is it directly possible for me no so in between me and this hardware component of our system there is a one operating system and that is the reason it is being said here the operating system act as a communication bridge interface between the user between the user and the hardware okay so from this we can uh, describe the purpose of operating system is nothing but to provide a certain kind of platform on which user can execute a program in convenient and the efficient manner so if you want to do some program on your system then you need to install the some uh, compiler some interpreter uh, like for the java c++ c 
understood and then only you can execute the program understood so for that uh, you you cannot directly communicate with the processor for that purpose you need the operating system you need a certain platform to execute whatever the things that you want if you want to execute some programming language program or if you want to execute the daily activity that you want to give some command to the computer to type something understood to listen music so all this uh, your instruction cannot be execute until you have the one platform that is the operating system okay so it is just a operating system is nothing but the simply a kind of software but it is not the application software it is a it is a system software understood it is a system software if this operating system as a system software is not installed on your computer then you cannot install any kind of application software on your computer also that is the thing here mentioned operating system is a piece of software that manage the allocation of computer hardware okay so if you want to manage these all the computer hardware like cpu ram input output uh, devices then for that allocation purpose you need the one important kind of system program that is called as a operating system so from this we can say the coordination of the hardware must be appropriate to ensure the correct working of the computer system and to prevent the user program from interfering with the proper working of the system so coordination of the hardware in the sense what suppose you are typing something on your computer you are utilizing some application software like microsoft word so you go on typing and you want to save your contents then you need to save it on the hard disk on your the memory so memory is secondary memory is also hard disk is also one kind of hardware so how you can save it on the hard your uh, secondary device so for that purpose there is a need a, there is a need of what we can say coordination between hardware like coordination there is a need of coordination between your keyboards and the memory or mouse and the memory etc etc so this coordination between the different components of the hardware can be done with the help of the operating system okay so it is just like you can take the common example just like a boss within a company give order to his employee in the similar way we request or pass our orders to the operating system so whatever work you want to uh, whatever work you want to complete from the computer system that work you can complete only through the operating system you have to just give the commands through the uh, graphical user interface or you can give the command through the some typing commands understood so then that operating system will work on the behalf of you it will directly interact with the different hardware which is present in your system and get your work done okay so so from this we can see the main goal of the operating system is nothing but what making the computer environment convenient for the user making the computer environment easy and convenient for the user okay so if the operating system is not there user cannot even uh, uh, communicate with the computer system user cannot even do, do the calculation operation also user cannot see the display any nothing user can do understood and so that is the first thing uh, how user can conveniently uh, operate the computer for that purpose there is a need of the operating system and second thing how this different hardware components can coordinate and communicate with each other and give some output to the user give some result to the user so that is nothing but the need of the goal of the operating system that is the what we can say that is exactly what the operating system is okay so from this you can uh, technically describe the things uh, for the exam like an operating system is a program so you should not say here just the program you should say is the system program on which application program are executed and act as a communication bridge between the users and the computer hardware if you want to execute any kind of uh, application software like you can say you want to install the ms office uh, or the, some games browsers okay these are the application program so this application program you cannot install and then execute until you don't have any kind of operating system installed on your computer okay so the main task uh, in case of the operating system that is carried out by the operating system is nothing but allocation of resources and services such as allocation of memory devices processors etc so whenever the user is doing some task on the computer system user need to access the memory user need to access the input output devices user need to access the processor 
so for different process that user do on the computer for different process what do you mean by the process process in the certain task under the execution so even if the user uh, 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 downloads some software and try to install it so there is a need of the memory for that installing purpose there is a need of the processor for that so how the allocation of these all the kind of resources to the process can be done then for that purpose for this purpose of allocation of diff these different kind of resources to the process which is being executed by the user there is a need of the operating system okay now as i told you the operating system is a one particular big system program understood and inside this large system program not to uh, as you can see operating system has to manage the different thing it has to manage the processor it has to manage the memory it has to manage the input output devices etc now inside the operating system there are the different module used to be there okay different small small software used to be there so here i have mentioned the operating system also include the program to manage these resources which resources memory devices processors etc information to manage this kind of resources operating system is having their different software within it okay different modules within that main system program which are that kind of programs or the software these are like traffic controller is there to manage the different processes then scheduler is there for the purpose of uh, allocation of processor time to the different process okay that process scheduling we have seen okay already we have seen the concept of scheduling okay in the next part also we will see in the function of operating system okay then memory management tasks so in order to manage the memory your primary memory there is a one particular software or the module there in the system program that is the memory management module then in order to handle the different input output operation when you are typing on the keyboard okay that is the input operation for that you know to manage these things there is a different input output programs are present understood and also to handle the file system file system like when you go to the any folder and you create the new folder and you store the file within that okay you copy we copy the file you paste the file so in order to handle all these things there are the certain programs are there in the uh, that particular operating system as a system program so this operating system this operating system is a main program okay operating system is a main program and within this operating system there are the small small modules are there small small modules small small system softwares are there okay and by combining all these small modules softwares your main operating system forms now all these system all these small modules are for traffic controller to manage the process okay to schedule the process for managing the memory for uh, managing the input output pro devices programs so for all these uh, uh, different modules are required and by combining all these modules your system program as a operating system get formed okay so like applications like uh, browser ms office notepad games so all these if you want to run all these things on your computer system then you need the proper environment to run and that proper environment is nothing but operating system okay so from this we can say the operating system helps you to communicate with the computer okay operating system helps you to communicate with the computer because you know the you cannot directly communicate with the computer and computer will not also uh, computer will not also understand your language okay so for that purpose how the computer can understand you uh, how the computer can understand the user how the computer can understand the request or the instruction from the user and for that purpose in order to in order to communicate user with the computer there is a need of the operating system understood so here it is being mentioned the operating system helps you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak the computer language now human being cannot speak the computer language understood now if the human being cannot speak the computer language the computer cannot understand the human being and for that purpose there is a need of some intermediate software and that our intermediate software is nothing but our operating system okay so it is not possible for the user to use any computer or even the mobile devices also without having the operating system now you are all of you are using the android mobiles now and that android mobiles also there is operating system this android os is there 
so in the old mobile there is a symbian os is there some mobiles are there on which the windows operating system server so for all this kind of digital devices there is a need of the operating system to run it okay so i hope all of you have got the clear idea about what exactly is the operating system why it is required if it is not there what will happen what things it does etc etc okay now next uh, second point in today's lecture is nothing but the some of the history of the operating system when this operating system comes into the picture now in the old days what was the scenario okay so operating system we are first developed uh, in the 1950 okay operating system we are first developed in the 1950 to handle the tape storage tape storage in the sense now in that period of 1950 there is a utilization of magnetic tape there is utilization of magnetic tape now you can see the hard disk uh, is a one particular also the uh, uh, storage device understood now in that days like 1950 to manage such kind of storage the operating system were come into the picture how to manage this storage uh, the data which is stored on this kind of disk how to manage this in order to manage this the operating system comes into the picture in the 1950 and who does it the general motors research lab implemented the first operating system in the 1950 for their IBM 701 computer okay so uh, general motor research lab implemented the operating system in 1950 for their computer IBM 701 okay now in the mid 1960 the operating system started to use the disk hard disk that you are observing now okay then in the late 1960 the first version of unix operating system was developed Okay, 19. Now before the Windows, there was a Unix operating system, and still Unix is being there is a very popular with the name Linux, and uh, you are all using that uh, uh, with the flavor Ubuntu. Okay, so in the 1960, the first version of Unix operating system was developed. Okay, then the first operating system which is built by the Microsoft was the DOS operating system that you must be aware. So DOS operating system was there. So it was built in the 1981. and this was built uh, by the microsoft by purchasing the 86 dos software from the citel company okay so they they purchased the 86 dos software and from that combining that they built the dos operating system and you must be knowing about the dos operating system there was a no graphical user interface if you want to instruct the computer to do something you need to type the commands and then the computer will work like today there was a no uh, anything kind of things like you can go to give the instruction to the keyboard or the mouse and such kind of graphical user interface that you are having okay so uh, the way you are uh, handling the things with the help of the mouse today so that was not possible in case of the dos operating system everything that you can do only with the help of the giving the commands okay but now you can see the present day popular os windows are there and this popular os windows comes into the existence in the 1985 when a graphical user interface was created and it is pair with the ms dos so ms dos already there from the 1981 so uh, in the period 1985 the graphical user interface were added with the ms dos and then we now we, you can see today we are experiencing the various versions of the windows operating system okay from the windows 98 to the 2000 to up to the windows 2010 and still there are the new windows operating systems are coming okay so that is the overall scenario of the uh, regarding the background of the operating system okay now uh, if you want to see the market share and the today's market share means in the market today in the all over the world which kind of operating systems are being uh, under utilization and which operating systems are get mostly utilized okay so you can see the most utilized operating system is a windows with the 40% share then after that there is android operating system now this is because of the popularity of uh, android os in the mobiles then after that there is the ios operating system is there then mac os is there okay Uh, for apple mobile you can see the ios operating system being mostly utilized and other kind of operating system are there like uh, symbian is there and other uh, different operating system are there so this i am the 2% share so from this you can get the idea now because of the uh, user friendly interface because of the user friendly interface and uh, most uh, the user friendly features this operating these two operating systems are now uh, we can say uh, 
they are having the most share in the market share today okay they are uh, having the what we can say they are the kings of the market today because of their user friendly nature and all these kind of things understood so uh, now you can see so this is the second point that is related with the history of operating system okay then next uh, important thing that is uh, mostly in the exams also the question on ask these points as well as in your gate exams also the questions are there from the uh, history of operating system or the definition of operating system or the functions and uh, services provided from the operating system so in brief we will discuss the different functions okay now already of all of you are also aware related with the functionality provided by the operating system as most of you are utilizing the windows operating system so one of the important functionality there is nothing but the security okay what security now security as you can see the whenever you try to utilize the computer system you are utilizing the laptop on which you are operating system so you can easily uh, give the password uh, user id and password so that nobody apart from you can utilize your computer system so so that is the feature as a security feature so operating system use password protection to protect user data and similar other kind of techniques it also prevent the unauthorized access to the programs and the user data okay so you can give the password id to your computer system and because of that nobody apart from you can utilize that so let me uh, show you show you that kind of uh, things okay so if you just uh, uh, let me take you to the uh, okay so okay so you can see if you just type here the control panel okay and uh, you can see the security system and the security you can see here you can manage the firewall settings okay in the user accounts okay so here you can uh, change the id password of your system you type here the control panel and if you want to give the change the password of your system okay then you can simply okay uh, okay so here you can change the password change the account name and maintain the security of your system so so from this you can understand that uh, feature that i just uh, share with you that is a uh, uh, this feature uh, that is a security uh, you can provide the security to your computer and with the help of what with, so for that purpose you need the operating system okay so let's see the okay so the first uh, function of the operating system you have understood now now let's see the second function that is the control over system performance okay control over system performance in the sense uh using the operating system uh we can monitor uh, overall system help to improve the performance means uh using this uh, uh you can get the idea uh, when you try to open some file or when you try to execute some uh, when you try to install some program you get the idea within how much time you get the response okay so when you make request to the computer system and within how much time you are getting the response on the basis of that you can check whether your computer system is working well whether is computer is working speedily or whether your computer system has become slow understood so and if we, if your computer system has become slow then also computer operating system gives you the notification that uh, generally you know the when on the c drive you are having your operating system installed so on the c drive there should not be any extra data uh, you should not uh, uh, put you should not keep the extra data on the c drive because of that computer system becomes slow and also time to time the fragmentation also need to be done so uh, then in this kind is in this case the operating system gives you the notification that your computer has become slow 
because of the virus or because of the uh, extra data you have put on the c folder or there is a no space is remaining on certain device uh, on the certain drivers etc etc so that is nothing but the monitoring overall system health understood and to monitor so, so this task of monitoring done by whom it is done by the operating system and operating system gives you the notification and then user can uh, accordingly uh, reduce the data on the particular drive or uh, he can install the uh, antivirus uh, so these kind of things uh, user can do and the system performance can be improved and because system performance get improved in the sense when you click on some folder within how much time that folder is opening when you are trying to copy paste from your computer to the another device or from another device to the computer within how much time this task is getting completed okay or when you are trying to install some software how much time is computer taking to install that so that uh, from that you can easily observe the how uh, what is exactly the performance of your computer system your computer system working fastly or the slowly and uh, then so this kind of things uh, can be easily uh, monitor by the operating system and operating system gives you the notification uh, so that how you can system performance can be improved uh, by doing all these kind of things okay so so this from this feature function uh, it helps to improve the performance by providing the important information needed to the troubleshoot the problem so if if there is a virus is uh, if your some of the file get infected by the virus then also the operating system uh, Uh, can give you the notification okay and even if uh, uh, you have uh, install some uh, software and it is still not working so for that purpose also the troubleshooting feature is provided by the operating system also when you are try to connect with the internet by connecting the lan cable and still your computer not showing the internet connected then also computer gives you the uh, notification regarding the uh, how you can troubleshoot problem troubleshoot the problem in the sense the operating system gives you the idea what you can do to sort out that particular problem okay so that is nothing but the function as a control over the system performance and this control over the system performance can be easily uh, we can do with the help of the system program or the system software that is nothing but your operating system okay then third important uh, function we have related with the operating system that is the job accounting now job accounting in the sense job in the sense the different task which is uh, uh, happening on your computer system okay so keeping the record of all the tasks all the process which is running on your computer system that is also the one of the functionality of computer uh, operating system and so here i have mentioned the operating system keep track of time and resources used by various by various tasks or process and the users this information can be used to track the resource usage for particular user or group of user so through this uh, now this job accounting function using job accounting function operating system gives you the idea about which which resources are being under utilization resources in the sense cpu memory hard disk other kind of things which so which are these resources are under utilization and which are the process which, uh, who are using these resources so from how much time these resources utilized by certain process or the task okay so keeping track of this all this kind of things keeping the record of all this kind of things that is nothing but the job accounting okay now uh, let me show you the example for that also uh, on your windows if you just press uh, the alt control delete okay let me take you to the uh, screen okay on your window even if you just uh even if you just press the alt control delete okay now you can see alt control delete now you can see the task manager here and here you can easily see the task manager okay so let me take you to the uh, example of uh, uh, how the job accounting is being done on our computer system so here you can see on your computer if you just press alt control delete okay here you can see the task manager option and in the task manager option uh, you can easily see so here you can see the different jobs are being running on your computer in different processes running on your computer system. 
लाइक अक्रोबेट रीडर हो गया गूगल फ्रॉम गूगल गो टू मीटिंग इज ऑन देन टास्क मैनेजर इट सेल्फ विंडोज एक्सप्लोर सो नाउ वी आर टेकिंग द लेक्चर फॉर द जूम मीटिंग सो जूम मीटिंग एप्लीकेशन इज ऑन सो फॉर दिस हाउ मच परसेंटेज ऑफ सीपीयू इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके सो नाउ गूगल क्रोम इज अंडर नॉट यूटिलाइजेशन सो 0% इट इज इट इज इट इज ऑन बट नॉट अंडर यूटिलाइजेशन बट जूम मीटिंग इज ऑन द इज गोइंग ऑन दैट्स व्हाई हाउ मच सीपीयू इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट हाउ मच मेमोरी इज गेटिंग यूटिलाइज्ड ओके हाउ मच डिस्क स्पेस इज बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड हाउ मच नेटवर्क इज बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड हाउ मच जीपीयू इज बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड ओके व्हाट इज द पावर यूज्ड हाई लो मॉडरेट so all these kind of record is nothing but consider the job of accounting or this is nothing but the information regarding all the process record of all the process and how much resources are being get utilized record of all this process uh, record of all these things is nothing but the function of uh, operating system as a job accounting so these are nothing but the resources being get utilized and these are the process under the use okay so i hope all of you understood this uh, uh, the function that is nothing but what the job accounting function of the operating system okay so let's see the next okay let's uh, discuss the next uh, function of the operating system that is error detecting aids means operating system help us to detect the errors okay aids in the sense helping now uh, even you are operating with the your computer system and uh, even if you want to uh, open some folder file and if it is not there on your system the operating system uh, 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 automatically shows you the some kind of error uh, notification okay so if uh, it is being infected by the virus so name of the file is showing there but if you try to open it it is not getting open some another file is getting open so that kind of error uh, you may observe on the system so in that case operating system may give the notification that uh, that particular file is not is infected because of the virus okay also uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, when you try to open some file but uh, the software which is required to run that file is not available then that uh, error being shown by the computer system like uh, not supported file so this kind of errors being shown by the uh with the it is being shown by the operating system so this is nothing but the error detection help done by the operating system to the user okay so like uh, if you want to see the example of that let me share the screen okay another screen so uh, you can see here there is a one particular website is there virtual lab okay so you can also utilize this virtual lab uh, website to learn the different kind of languages and the experiments okay so on this virtual lab if you just uh, click here you can see the on this uh, website different kind of practicals related to the different subjects are available okay you don't need to install anything uh, here in order to demonstrate it so if you go to the computer science and engineering so related with the different subject practicals are available here and uh, you can learn it and uh, without any installation of software suppose now here uh, if i go to the data structure lab now in this data structure lab list of experiments are shown okay these all the experiments are available here with programs outputs etc suppose i go to the number system and i want to see the simulation of unary system now here you can see the error is getting displayed the adob flash player is no longer supported means the adob flash player which is there on this system is not supporting this particular uh, simulation that we are trying to see there must be some kind of video okay so the required adobe flash player is not supporting so this kind of error detection that help is done by whom that help is done by the operating system to the user so that is the functionality of the operating system that is nothing but what error detection help okay error detection help for the error detecting aids okay then uh, fifth important functionality we are having here fifth functionality okay that you can easily see here that is the coordination okay coordination between the uh, other softwares and the user okay so through the operating system you can install the other softwares that can be a application software or that can be a system software so you can easily uh, install this software for that purpose the coordination or assistant is there by the operating system as i said without the operating system you cannot install any kind of software on the 
machine okay so opting system also coordinate and assign interpreters compiler assemblers and other software to various users of computer system so you can easily install this different kind of software on the system okay for your uh, use like uh, if you want to see i can show you that already must be knowing you if you want to install some new software uh, you can easily install it okay suppose uh, let me uh, let's uh, let's uh, try to install some uh, software okay suppose uh, you know okay add up install player so if i just try to install it here you can see now this is a kind of application software okay and so you can install this like this understood so this kind of coordination or help is done by whom this is done by the operating system okay so that is the one of the important functionality of the operating system as you have seen okay so let me take you to the our main screen again okay so that is our uh, what you can say the fifth functionality that is nothing but the uh, coordination between the coordination between the other softwares and the user so as you can see uh, when i open the adobe flash player so it is uh, giving us the instruction of what to do uh, to accept the terms etc etc so this and uh, uh, how much memory is required to install that software if you uh, go on installing that so everything details will be provided so who is this, who, who is doing all these things who is helping us to do who is doing this coordination so this coordination is done by the operating system so that is the reason here mentioned operating system helps to coordinate and assign the different kind of uh, software like interpreter compilers assemblers and other software to the various user of the computer system okay so then uh, let's see the uh, next functionality of the operating system that is the most uh, important functionality of the operating system that is the memory management okay now uh, as all of you know on our computer system the, the two important memories are there one is our random access memory and one is our hard disk that is the secondary memory okay so in order to manage our primary memory that is our main memory that is the ram okay because uh, the most important thing is nothing but the managing the primary or memory or the main memory or the ram because Uh, it is not available in the huge amount as compared with the hard disk. No hard disk, you can see, is available in the uh, uh, in very much amount. Okay, in the terabytes, so huge amount of hard disk you can have. But still, the primary memory is available in the limited amount. Okay, limited size. So it is need to be managed, and that role of managing the operating system, uh, role of managing that uh, main memory or primary memory is done by the operating system. The same thing I have mentioned. the operating system manage the primary memory or the main memory the main memory is made of large array of bytes or the words where each byte or word is assigned to the certain addresses okay so main memory as compared to the secondary memory is the fast storage okay and uh, it can be accessed directly by the cpu so for whatever program you want to execute that program must be there in the primary memory for execution purpose so for a program to executed it should be first loaded in the main memory okay and in order to handle that main memory the operating system perform the following activities which kind of activities like this it keep track of primary memory which bytes of memory are used by the user program as i shown in the task manager also for our zoom application how much primary memory is getting utilized so keeping record of that that is nothing but the memory management and that functionality is done by whom the operating system the memory address that have already been allocated and the memory address of memory that has not been utilized so uh, memory get allocated to the different application to the different software or to the different instruction through the different memory addresses so keeping record of which are, which memory addresses are utilized which are not utilized which are available for utilization so all that record is being kept in the memory management and that is done by the operating system so to do all these things there is a memory management module there in the operating system as a part of the operating system system program okay also in the multi programming environment where multiple programs can be executed simultaneously on the computer system 
okay the operating system decide the order in which process are granted access to the memory and for how long so if there are the more than one program or more than one task is going on a computer system then for a particular uh, one task how much memory should be allocated and for how much time how much how long the memory should be allocated to that one task then for second task how much memory should be given for third task likewise so that uh, arrangement of the memory that is also the part of the memory management and that is the functionality done by the operating system so it allocate the memory to the process when the process request it and uh, deals uh, locate the memory when the process has terminated okay deallocate the memory when the process has terminated or user is uh, or uh, that process is performing the input output uh, function okay so in that memory allocation and memory deallocation okay that is the exactly the role performed by here Uh, as a part of the memory management and that is being done by whom the operating system okay as soon as some new process get open it is the task of the operating system to do the memory management and to allocate the memory for that task or the process once that process or the task get terminated the memory should be get deallocated so these all the things being all the activities being operating system all these activities being performed by the operating system as a part of the memory management okay if you want to see let me open some uh, let me open uh, some uh, new let me open some uh, okay let me open some okay a uh, new thing okay or a new application for example uh, you can see if i open the vlc clear Okay, I open the VLC clear and I open something on that VLC clear. Okay, so you can see it has open, and you can see now. Let's check out the Alt Control Delete and Task Manager. So you can see here on the Task Manager, you can see here the VLC clear has started, and it is using the zero point two percent of. It is using the zero point. okay my video is started so it is using 0.2% of memory okay then uh, it is utilizing the uh, sorry cpu 0.6% memory 164 mb like this so as soon as you uh, as soon as you uh, as soon as you open okay as soon as you uh, open some new application so it is a it is a job of uh, operating system it is a job of operating system to uh, allocate the uh, memory for that and as soon as you uh, remove or uh, close that application it is the job of operating system to deallocate the memory for that okay so that is the memory management functionality i hope all of you are understood okay now next important functionality that is the process management okay process management now today's operating system that you are observing that all the operating system are uh, capable to do the multi programming they are capable to work in the multi program means more than one task can be easily run on the system you must have experienced this some of the task you are you are typing something then on beside that your music player is going on on beside that you you are uh, downloading song from the internet so that is a multi program environment okay so in the multi program environment operating operating system decide the order in which the process have to access to the processor and how much processing time each process has so processor management in the sense that is also one of the functionality performed by the operating system if if there are the four three or five processors are running then for each process how much processor should be get allocated so that is the functionality as a processor management okay so that is nothing but called as a processor management to each process how much part of the processor should be get allocated understood how to do the scheduling of the process which process should be get uh, which process uh, to the which process should be get the first preference then to which other process to uh, to the second process uh, which preference you should give so that all the scheduling that is also the part of the process and the processor management and this functionality is called as a process scheduling that already you have seen an operating system perform the following activities for the process management like for the process management 
what kind of activity the operating system has to do for the processor management like keeping track of status of process the program which perform this is also known as a traffic controller so keeping track of the status of process means which process are running okay keeping the track of all this that is called as a traffic controller for that you know to manage this there is a one program there in the operating system that is a traffic controller how many tasks are running on your system and that tasks are consuming how much of your cpu how much of your processor and whatever number of tasks are running on your system allocate the cpu for that task okay allocate the cpu that is the processor to that process then once that task has finished deallocate the processor when processor is no more required so in the task manager you must have seen in the task manager you must have seen okay let me show you once again task manager you can see here so number of processes are running here and cpu allotment for all these processes so that is nothing but the function this functionality is also called as a processor management keeping track of keeping track of how much processors are getting utilized keeping track of how much processors are getting how much part of your processors are getting utilized for these different kind of processes and once a new process allocate new process get uh, generated allocate the processor for that so that is also the part of the processor management okay so this all the functionalities come under the uh, functionality name that i just told you that is the uh, processor management okay so as i told you in the multi program environment multiple processes are, are used to be there and it is the job of operating system to allocate the processor for that multiple processes understood and it is the job of operating system uh, to do it, deallocate the processor from that process also okay so that is the thing i have mentioned in the multi program environment the operating system decide the order in which the processes have access to the processor and how much processing time each process has understood so this function of operating system is called as a process scheduling okay process scheduling means for each process certain amount of processor share is given for that purpose processor share that particular process should run okay so and related with that activity just i told you here the activity is like uh, so in case of the processor management as a, one of the functionality of operating system uh, these are the different activities are get performed like uh, keeping the track of status of process means how many processes are running and uh, you know to keeping track of this one of the module is there in the operating system that is called as a traffic controller then allocating the cpu to that all process that is the one of the important part in the processor management once that process has finished deallocating the processor when a process is no more required when you close the process automatically deallocating the cpu deallocating the processor from that process that is also the important functionality performed by the operating system and that functionality is called as what the processor management okay so handling the different processes uh related with the uh, allocation of processor so that is also being referred as here what process scheduling okay then let's see the next important functionality here next important functionality related with the uh, operating system that is the device management what device management device in the sense any kind of input devices output devices etc etc okay so whenever you connect some input devices to your cpu or to your computer automatically operating system shows you that this kind of devices has this kind of device has been connected to your system when you remove it automatically operating system shows you that device has been removed okay so for that purpose this functionality that is being performed uh, by the operating system that is called as a device management okay so device management functionality like you can see here i have written an operating system manage device communication means communication with the external devices which are being connected to the system via their respective drivers okay so to communicate with these devices uh, computer systems are having the different drivers being installed there like whenever you newly connect your pen drive to the uh, system automatically operating system give the notification to install the drivers 
related with that uh, any usb thing that you have connected to the system so under the device management it performs the different kind of activities like keeping track of all devices connected to the system means which devices are connected to system then designate a program responsible for every now you know to uh, keeping track of which devices are connected to system in the uh, uh, past and currently which devices are uh, connected which devices are removed so to keep track of all these kind of thing there is a one program is there in operating system one module is there that is considered as a input output controller just in case of the previous functionality that is the processor management we have seen uh, you know to do the uh, you know to keep track of how many processes are running all this kind of, all this kind of things one program is there one module is there in the operating system that is a traffic controller in the similar way you know to keep record of how many devices are connected etc etc input output controller program is there in the operating system okay so these input output controller decide which process get access to the certain device and for how long allocate the devices in efficient and the effective way they allocate the devices when they are no longer required so these all the kind of functionalities done by the operating system and that is being called as our device management okay let me show you the example of that okay if i open the screen and uh, if i go to this part uh, okay now now let me connect the usb device okay as soon as i will connect it you will show the notification here okay so you can see the notification here redmi note redmi uh, okay redmi note 7 pro this device is being connected and you can see that uh, uh, here also okay you can see that here and here also you can see okay uh, if i connect the pen drive okay let me connect the pen drive also okay so here you can see name of the pen drive and that is connected and here you can also see so this is nothing but the as soon as i remove it okay so it will get automatically uh, out of display from there and so managing all these kind of things managing all these kind of things okay managing all these kind of things that is the important functionality performed by the operating system and that functionality we are calling as what what we are calling it the device management okay and to do all this the one important module is there in the operating system that is called as a input output controller okay then there is a last functionality which is performed by the operating system is the file management okay most importantly and we are mostly dealing with that when you are using the computer system as you know the file system is what a file system is organized into the directories for efficient or easy navigation and the uses so these directories may contain the other directories and other files okay an operating system carries out the following things for uh, file management like keeping track of where the information is stored user access setting status of every file and all the uh, other things okay so these facilities are collectively known as the file system management okay like let me take you to the example okay let me take you to the example for better understanding the file how the file management is done by the operating system so for example okay let me open now this is our different drives are there if you go to the academic folder here are the different folders are stored okay now within each folder i have uh, another folders within b folder i have another folder like compiler you need to bottom up so this these all the things are there so folder within a folder that is nothing but the consider as a directory okay so creating the new file here suppose i have to create the new file here i have created the new file folder as a uh, okay within that then i can store the some i can copy this file and i can store it here okay so these are nothing but the file management system okay and suppose if i want now if you want to control the access to this file or to this folder for example if you want to access to control you can to uh, control the access to this file then you can do it like security uh, and you can uh, give the options here whether uh, anybody uh, how how much control you want to give for the accessing that file okay like allow the full control or deny okay denying the control deny if you do the denying control this file will not open so if you allow then it will definitely open okay so this kind of things you can do then 
uh, if you want to share the folder or this directory you can share it like this sharing you can share it anybody that you want here okay you can share it everyone so this kind of activity you can do with the uh, different uh, uh, what you can say files and folders and all these kind of things so that is nothing but the that is nothing but the called as what the file management okay what file management the same thing is written here same thing is written here as you can see a file system is organized into a directories directories in the sense when there is a folder within a folder within a folder another folder so that is become your directory for efficient or easy navigation and the uses okay so managing this uh, all the files uh, with the hierarchy of the directory and uh, helping the user to know where his data is stored so for that purpose file management is required and that is the important functionality performed in the operating system so so same thing i have written here you know to do the file management functionality operating system for perform the different activities like it keep track of where the information is stored where the user file is stored uh, what is the user access setting for that is that file is shared or not whether that file is having the restricted access status of every file okay so these all the facilities are collectively known as the file system management or the file management and this functionality is performed by whom operating system so these are all the functionalities that are considered as the most important part of operating system so from the first you can see the security control over the system performance job accounting error detection help coordination between the other software and user memory management processor management how to allocate the processor deallocate the processor to which process to which process the processor should allocate okay keeping the track of various process running device management which device has connected file management uh, where the user has stored the data how to access that data that all the things are comes under the important functionality of operating system and based on the functionality based on the functionality only there are the different services are performed by the operating system so based on the functionality you can have the different services provided by the operating system like operating system help us for the program execution okay any kind of program any kind of activity can easily executed on the operating system so that is i have mentioned the operating system is responsible for execution of all type of program whether it is a user program or the system program if you want to execute any program you want to install any software you can easily install that software on your system and execute it okay so that is the important service provided by the operating system to the user so the operating system utilize the various resources available for the efficient running of all type of functionality so operating system utilize the different uh, resources like it utilize the cpu memory hard disk input output devices for the purpose of execution of the program and uh, as a one of the service to the user then another important uh, service provided by the operating system to the user is handling the input output operation so with the help of the operating system you can easily give the input to the system using the keyboard okay taking the particular uh, that uh, whatever you are typing on the keyboard to the uh, uh, processor to the memory that is the job of operating system so the operating system is responsible for handling all sort of inputs whether the input from the keyboard mouse or desktop etc the operating system does all the kind of interfacing in the most appropriate manner regarding all kind of input outputs for example there is a difference in nature of all type of peripheral devices such as mouse keyboard then the operating system is responsible for handling data between them so when you type something from the keyboard automatically it is get display on your uh, uh, monitor as output devices so handling all these kind of input output from uh, uh, operations that is the important service provided by the operating system to the user then handling the uh, so based on the file management functionality uh, important service provided by the operating system to the user that is the manipulation of file system is handling all the kind of files okay like the operating system is responsible for making of decision regarding the storage of all type of data uh, or files on the floppy disk or hard disk or pen drives okay so using the operating system you can easily decide where you want to store your data whether on the hard disk floppy disk now are not under utilization it is not so popular today but you uh, pen drive is quite popular so using this uh, service Uh, this kind of service nothing but operating system helps the user to 
take the decision where he want to store the data whether on the hard disk pen drive etc etc so the operating system decide as how the data should be manipulated and the store so that is nothing but the manipulation of file system or a manipulation of different uh, data then one of the next important uh, service provided by the operating system is error detection and the handling so the operating system is responsible detection of any type of errors or the bugs that can occur uh, while you are running any task okay so the uh, as i have shown you the different kind of errors like not supported files if you trying to open some file using some different software then unsupported file notification you get okay so if your files are uh, virus infected then also uh, you get uh, different kind of errors so showing that kind of errors and handling that kind of errors that is also the important service provided by the operating system then allocation of resources that also already we have discussed the operating system ensure that proper use of the resources available by deciding which resource to be used by the whom for how much time so all the decision are taken by the operating system so if the user open some new task or the process then which resources to be allocated for that new process or the task then uh, if the uh, no resources available like there is a no space available on the hard disk then showing the error or notification to the user there is a uh, no space available on the hard disk okay if uh, your primary memory is get consumed too much then also operating system shows the error you are running out of the memory okay so that is nothing but the one of the important uh, service provided the operating system in the error detection and handling so uh, so there also the resource allocation part comes okay the uh, so resource resource allocation part comes ki uh, how much memory to be allocated for the process, particular one task or for one particular process how much memory how much hard disk which input devices output devices should be allocated for the different task so that all the things uh, as a service is provided by the operating system then accounting job accounting that already i have told you in the functionality operating system keep track of account of all the functionality taking place on the computer system which are the different process tasks running on the computer system okay details regarding all that that is comes under the account then information and the resource protection that is the security part the operating system is responsible for using all the information and resources available on the machine and in the most protected way so operating system helps you to protect your information helps you to protect your resources uh, by allowing you to uh, uh, by allowing you to uh provide the uh, passwords uh, user ids by allowing you to enable the firewalls understood so by allowing you to install the antivirus so that unwanted users cannot access your files information the resources so this is the functionality this is the different kind of services that is being provided by the operating system okay so there is no too much difference between the functionality and the services on the basis of functionality Uh, you can determine what are the services provided by the operating system to the users okay so that is the reason uh, i have covered the services in the fast fastly manner because before this already we have discussed the functions of the operating system okay so that's it from the uh, this uh, first lecture from the operating system we are in details we have discussed the different things like what is operating system history of the operating system various examples of the operating system functions provided by the operating system and different services provided by the operating system i hope all of you understood this if any doubt you can comment me in the comment section i will definitely answer all your doubts thank you all of you guys